As the name implies, you can get a very good cup of joe at Del Rey's Coffee District and made to order paninis, salads, smoothies, and such. But there was something else brewing at this Pineapple Grove Cafe the night we showed up. First meet Chung Seo, who opened the coffee district about a year and a half ago with his fiance Anna. We both decided that we would like to open up our own place that brings the community together and wanted to sort of be part of the whole local scene. The coffee house just seems to be a very fitting where you're dealing with everyday people, get to bring the whole community together, and also as a perk on uh, for my side, I get to bring in all the beers, which is another great idea to bring people together. Ah yes, the beers. They line the shelves of Chung's comfy little bar area, looking very much like works of art themselves. The beer menu is top notch. Chung started with two taps and 30 bottles to choose from. He now has four on draft and over 100 bottles of the most unique and recently available micros and imports. I think I'm bringing, very proud of my selection here. I think you should be. Uh, if you can make soup, you can make beer. Outside, Chris Harris and Keith Spencer are conducting their monthly homebrewing class. I was just talking about how old the, the beer is. Beer is uh, the most ancient uh, alcoholic beverage in the world. They use a hands-on approach, letting folks smell and taste each ingredient while brewing a batch of homebrew and tasting several interesting beers in the process. And I was going on to say that there are four main ingredients in beer. The first is water, the second is grains or malted grains, the third is hops, and the fourth is yeast. And there are still more ingredients to the Coffee District's recipe for success. Monday nights, every Monday there's a poker night, and Wednesday night we do open art night, uh, where it's, it's uh, open to everybody and it's a collaboration process. And Thursdays are open mic night and karaoke night for Friday, and live events and um, usually live music on Saturday nights. So it seems to me there's always something brewing for just about anyone at the coffee district. I'm the beer guy, Dan Oliver. Chang Seo with Coffee District. And we'll see you at the next Watering, Watering Hole. Hole.